And supporting that process now, we are joined live by the Right Honourable Patricia Scotland KC, the Secretary General of the Commonwealth, representing 56 member states and a population of almost 2.5 billion people. Madam Secretary General, Baroness Scotland, it is a pleasure to have you with us on Peace Day. All right, so we're marking Peace Day today after the great loss to the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth of Queen Elizabeth II. The British government was instrumental in, in helping create Peace Day. Uh, could you talk to us about the importance of peace to the Queen and the Commonwealth? If the Queen stood for anything, she stood for peace. And if you look at the framework which created our Commonwealth back uh, seven, more than 70 years ago, it was predicated on the fact that these countries all wanted and thirsted for peace. And if you remember, back in 1953, the Queen said that the Commonwealth was an entirely new conception, built on the highest qualities of the spirit of man, friendship, loyalty, and the desire for freedom and peace, which is essentially the commitment of the Commonwealth membership, all 56 countries, and of uh, which peace is the absolute cornerstone. You, you've been a supporter of Peace Day for a very long time. So could you tell me, um, tell us why it's been so important to you personally? Well, basically, um, from the very inception um, in 2001, when Jeremy started on this journey, it was absolutely clear that the need and thirst for peace was there and we needed to do absolutely everything that we could to support it. And this is something which the world has never needed more than it needs today. Well, next year, there are conversations underway to celebrate Peace Day across the entire Commonwealth. You've been a great part of the institutionalization of this day. Could you talk to us about the future of this day and what you'd like to see it become? In the Commonwealth, we will play our part because in 2023 will be the year of youth in the Commonwealth. I was in India just um, a month or two ago and we have just, uh, agreed to launch a run for peace, which will take place early next year. Now, how important is eliminating racism if we want to live in a more peaceful, sustainable world? And how are we going to do it? Back in 1953, part of what the Her Majesty the Queen said was that this new Commonwealth, was an equal partnership of nations and races. No one was talking about equality of races, that clear clarion call to eradicate racism and to establish equality in order to have peace. Well, from everyone involved in this show, we're hearing that the world is at a crisis point. Uh, for many, they have never been more concerned. What is your view? Will humanity survive? the moment of great peril. But I'm temperamentally very optimistic and I believe that this is absolutely not the end, but an inflection point. It's an opportunity for us to use all our in ingenuity, our innovation, our acuity to come up with the solutions. But I believe we can do that. So yourself, where do you draw your personal passion and inspiration to make such an impact? Where does it come from? family and in their and my fierce belief in the values and aspirations of our Commonwealth. But my confidence really comes from the capacity of people everywhere to make a difference. The work we're doing to end violence against women, the work I'm doing with the Kalili Foundation, with yourself, and my belief that we together can be the difference that we need to make in this world. Now, for people who want to participate in a more peaceful and sustainable world, where can they go? What role can individuals play? What do you suggest? Uh, this whole campaign of Peace One Day to get behind it, not just for today, but what are you going to do for the whole of the year to be the difference you need to make? The Kalili Foundation has joined with us to create faith in the Commonwealth. Masses that you can do in order to join us and to be part of the solution now because they can be the difference. They have got fantastic ideas. Their spirit and their acuity is needed more than ever. And I want to say to everyone, aspiration is to get more than 3.5 billion people committing and active on Peace Day. You can do this. We can do this. But only if we work together. Well, thank you, Baroness Scotland, for those truly inspiring words. 